fuck, man. Thank you for remembering us, everybody. It's been a while. It's been a while since we did this, right? Yeah. It's good to be back, man. It's really good to be back. Early show and everything, man. You guys still got the fucking fire in your hearts, man. And we love you for us. We just put out our eighth album. Anybody in here got it? We just celebrated the 20 year anniversary of our first album, Burn My Eyes. And every time I say that, I'm like, what the fuck, 20 years? It went by like that, man. Like that. It's crazy. And on that very first tour that we did, for, for Burn My Eyes, our record wasn't even out. And we came to Florida. Opening for Napalm Death and a band from Florida called Obituary. And up until that point, man, we knew all the death metal shit. We knew all the death metal bands because Florida was like this new scene that came out of nowhere. You had the Morrison sound, and you had bands like Sepultura going to record me the remains there. You had obituary and all these bands and then cannibal moved here and it was like, it was like what the fuck is going on? Let's move to Florida. <laughs> we never did. We couldn't afford it. But we, we learned all this killer music, man. And one of my one of our all-time favorite bands came out of Florida, a band called Leonard Skinner. You know they're one of the fucking greatest, but I'm just gonna say it again. One of the fucking greatest bands of all time. Yeah. They did their thing, they paved their path, they will yeah. fuck you to everybody. They wear their colors on their fucking sleeve, no matter what those colors were, whether people agreed with it or not, and that is what made them so fucking amazing, man. And top of their music, just the way they live their life, man. So Florida has always reached out to our part of the world and had this massive, massive impact on us, man. All the way when we were kids and stuff. Because when we were growing up, we were teenagers growing up in the Bay Area right around the beginning of the 80s, and this amazing movement of music happened called thrash metal. Bands like Exodus, bands like Metallica, bands like Megadeth and Slayer that were right in our backyard and we'd go see them in little tiny clubs, 300 cap clubs, man. And it was this amazing thing and we felt like we had our own special world. And then you started talking to people from 